What's up, guys? Triple Crown 24 back at you. Have a two for video for you today. First one is a TTM recap, and then I also have an IP recap. First time for that on the channel. I'll show you everything here in a second, but first, I'd like to encourage you to check out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Appreciate you guys who have been watching the videos a lot lately. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. So, this is uh, tied for my shortest return time ever. I did not write it on the envelope. It's a one of one. Success. It took six days, number 75 on the year. Item number 101. Surprised I remembered all that. No postmark, so no canceled stamp. Always appreciate it. Coming in from current red starter, one for the 2018 set, Luis Castillo. He has uh, struggled a little bit recently. Um, he was expected to be like the most reliable guy in the rotation this year. That's not saying much because the Reds rotation has struggled mightily in previous years. But he was expected to, you know, maybe post a sub four ERA, win double digit games. Hasn't really worked out so far yet, but um, a few mechanical issues he works it out. I'm sure he will be just fine. He could be the ace of that rotation. So thank you, Mr. Castillo, for that one. Really like watching him pitch. Um, and then speaking of the Reds, I did a IP session at Great American Ballpark where the Reds play. So I'm a huge Detroit Tigers fan, if you guys don't know. It's in the, the channel logo and everything. Love Miguel Cabrera. Fortunately, he wasn't there, but Tigers did come to Cincinnati for a two-game interleague series. So also The Reds will go to Detroit in July for a two-game series. I travel all around to watch the Tigers play. Sometimes I don't always get there on time. It's just because I'm, I'm working on other things or working in other parts of the city, so I don't get there for autographs. Today I had a chance. I was at the game last night. Um, did not feel so well, so I did not try to graph, but I got four items signed today. Last one is a pretty nice gesture by another fan at the game. So here we go. This first one is Rizel Iglesias. Did the Reds at the start of the game, just because they were having like this uh, promotion, like this old timers game promotion, Iglesias got out there early with the Tigers, kind of had a late start. So I thought I would have enough time to kind of run down to, uh, the Reds side of the field, and Iglesias did sign one of one. It's almost uncanny how uh, similar this one is to my other 17 tops that I got signed TTM. I wasn't going to go for the 18, but uh, did not have it on me. I actually only brought my 17 cards because I set my Reds ones aside from the last time that I tried to graph them. So, oh well, I really like this, the 17 design as well. That's really cool, so thank you, Mr. Iglesias. This uh, second one was a two of two, went back to the Tigers' side. This is my first time meeting this guy, but I've heard a lot of good things from the fans that he's a really nice player. Um, and it seemed to be that way, too. He, he seemed a little shy at first, but he was all smiles. He answered everyone's questions. Two of two, Nico Gudrum. So I had a little helper on this one. Um, my helper got this card. This one is for the set. On this 2018 Top Series 2, it's his rookie. Looks really nice, signed in blue. That was a new uh, blue Sharpie, and for some reason it looks like really light blue. I don't know what, what that was. Um, they also signed it pretty thin, too, so signature came out really well. Really surprised because it's a, a regular Sharpie. And then I had the um, thin, the thin point pen, ballpoint pen, whatever you call it. And he signed this ball for me, asked me if he wanted to uh, sweet spot it. I said, yes, please, and I wished him good luck. Really nice guy. I've never had a player offer a sweet spot for me. Um, normally what I'll do is I'll use like the little sweet spot jacket that you can get on Amazon. And that way I don't have to like, you know, be that guy who asked for the sweet spot and they look like I'm selling the ball. I do collect the signed baseballs, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. So usually it's just a, a subtle, more subtle way to be like, here you go. This is the spot I kind of wanted in. But really cool. Um, I've had this ball forever. It's a C-League ball. It's the last of the C-League balls I've had. I got them for really cheap. So this ball I've had for three or four years. I've been trying to get it signed. and hasn't worked out. And then here was the box that came in, and the box got uh, destroyed. This box is pretty old, but it has served its purpose. It's going in the ball cube right after this video. And then the last one, um, I brought my quote-unquote team set. There's not very many Tigers in the top series um, one and two this year. I made... A mistake of standing in the wrong spot. And I missed out on Nicholas Castellanos, who was signing. He's a really nice guy. He's really awesome. Always uh, has a wad of gum in his mouth, too. And I missed out on him. 
I was like one of the last guys, and I was like, oh, damn. So there was another guy there. He didn't have any Tigers gear on, but he actually offered one to me. So one of one on this 2011 Pro debut, Nick Castellanos did sign this one for him. This, uh, this looks like his older signature. I think he's shortened it up a little bit. Signed a nice thick blue Sharpie. So thank you to that fan. I did not catch his name. Um, he didn't have a, you know, blowout cards or YouTube name. So um, I'll just say fan at Reds game. <laughs> thank you so much for the assist on that one. And I will, I'll probably see the Tigers two to three more times this year. So plenty more chances to get this one signed. Castellanos, one of my favorite players. So at least cool. I got to, I got to say hi to him and he said hi back and I asked him a couple questions. So. All right, guys, that does it for my recap. That was pretty long-winded, um, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below. If you've gotten anybody IP recently, let me know what your experiences are. Till next time, see you in the next video. Have a good one.